Hello everybody. Now as students of economics, we are studying how to best solve the economic problem. The economic problem is very simply how to allocate scarce resources given unlimited wants. Now, you and I as consumers have got unlimited wants. Given the choice, we would love to have everything we possibly want to an unlimited amount. Okay? But we're constrained. Yes, we're constrained by money, okay, maybe we can't afford everything we want, but more than just that, we're constrained by scarce resources. Even if we did have an unlimited amount of money, we wouldn't be able to satisfy our unlimited wants because there simply aren't enough goods and services around in the economy that can be made okay, to satisfy our wants. All right? Resources are scarce. What do we mean by scarce resources? Well, we can categorize our scarce resources okay, into four main headings. Okay, and these four things are known as the factors of production. Okay, they are inputs which, when combined together, okay, can produce goods and services. These are the four things. We've got capital, enterprise, land and labor. I'm not going to dwell on any of those except for capital. Just know that capital is not money in economics. We do not use capital to mean money at all. Capital are goods, okay? They are goods made by man to produce other goods and services, okay? Man-made aids to production. The best examples are uh, machines, okay? Capital machinery, okay? Again, made by man to produce other goods and services. And things like tractors, you know? These are good examples of capital goods, okay? Man-made aids to production. Don't ever confuse capital with money. Not the case in economics. Okay, so we've got our four factors of production. These are our scarce resources. Okay, so bear that in mind. That's what we mean by scarce resources. Now, we know that we don't have enough resources in, an, in the world or in an economy to satisfy our limited wants. This then forces choices to be made. We need to make choices as an economy. We need to consider well, what to produce. Okay, given that we've got scarce resources, what needs producing? Okay, so, Let's say in an economy we have a choice between producing manufactured goods or services. Well, if manufactured goods are in higher demand, if that's what the majority of people want, then surely we should produce that level of manufactured goods. Okay, so what to produce is important. How to produce it? So are there more efficient ways of producing manufactured goods? Are there efficient ways of using our factors of production to make manufactured goods? If so, we'll find that method and produce it that way. Okay, so how to produce it using the most efficient methods? Is important too. And also knowing who to produce it for. So maybe in an economy there are types of individuals or groups of individuals that desperately need manufactured goods more than others, in which case maybe they deserve to get the manufactured goods produced. Maybe we should just simply allocate goods based on who can pay the most for them. Okay? Maybe that's the way we need to allocate resources. Either way, we need to solve this question, we need to answer the question. Who are we producing these goods for? Okay, so the existence of this economic problem forces these choices to be made because resources are scarce and wants are infinite. We're now going to look at opportunity costs and how that features when we try and solve this problem. Until then, see ya.